Now Earl and Dave have a new supervisor. Yeah. It's Bronx Johnny. Bronx Johnny, come on in here. By the way, this uh, kid, he's like a son to me. He's just fantastic. He just really does the best. And he fights it off. He came from Macbador to the Bronx, and he's the American dream. Johnny, are you more than prepared right now to be uh, office manager? Yes, Papa Steve. All right, thank you. Now, I heard this story. You had a a little problem yesterday bringing our lunch back. Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, I was signing in to come back into the building. Why do you have to sign in? Don't you have a card? No, nah, I didn't have a card. I didn't get around to doing that. All right, that's something you need to do. Yeah, but um, they can't have an Ecuadorian showing up every day <laughs> when they don't know who it is. It's a little scary. <laughs> nah, so um, I'm coming into the building, and a, a white lady's waiting for the elevator as I'm signing in. Right. But she sees me, she kind of like bear hugs her fucking bag. <laughs> right, so safety starts, first. Yeah, she starts walking into the elevator, and I'm there signing. I'm like, right, I tell the guy to do I'll see you later, whatever. Yeah. I'm going in the elevator, all his ta 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 so she sees my, like, half my hand is already in there. And she keeps pressing the <laughs> shit. Shit caught my pinky. I got mad. So she was so afraid, she hits the uh, quick door shut. Hell yeah. Because she didn't want to have to ride up five floors with an Ecuadorian. Exactly. I, she got off, I think, on the 15th floor or something like that. Yeah. I peeked where she got off at. I'll probably see her later today. Well, what are you going to do? I just let it drop. No, that's messed up, man. Well, what are you wearing around your neck? You look like a fucking Aztec pimp. You don't want to be coming in with <laughs> this. It's a cross, look. man. It's a cross. Oh, I can't tell. It's all gold and, you know. It's not where, gold. Where, it's it's, it's a, a little fancy for a cross. It looks like something <laughs> you snatched from her. Nah, man. My grandma gave me this chain. Yeah, yeah. that's what you tell the cops. This is me. <laughs> this is Papa Steve. <laughs> a cross on a hubcap. Yeah. So she's worried you're going to jump in that elevator, you're carrying sandwiches, you're going to grab her purse and then have have your lunch after you do it. That's what I'm saying. And it didn't make any sense because both hands was filled up. I'm not going to snatch you with my mouth. You know what? That is embarrassing for us that we still fear people in 2006. Yeah. And you're in Manhattan. Let's face it. If we're in the Bronx, my head's going to be on a fucking swivel. I'm going to be looking <laughs> everywhere. But here in Manhattan, I feel somewhat safe around Ecuadorians. Yeah, it's uh, it's not like you're in any sort of danger in a high rise in Manhattan. Uh, and I'm not even. We had a little girl murdered down the street not too long ago, Ooh. snatched when she was at a club. Damn. Where? Oh yeah, downtown. She was drinking, and <laughs> oh, that's right. yeah. uh, everybody you she know covered it Midwest? up. She from yeah. the Midwest. Yeah, okay. So you know, it does happen. They brought that back to what I call the Ecuadorian mafia <laughs> was somehow connected. Oh man. Well, here's the thing. Uh, you're wearing gold all over the place, right? No, it's just, well, I got gold on my chain over here, but right. it, everything else is silver, man. What's with the constant gold and silver? It uh, it makes me feel good. I got some weight on my arms. I know. You know what? I'm going to have uh, Fezzi help you pick out a swatch. <laughs> and we are going to try to make you look swatch. like uh, you, you're not scary. Yeah, something teal, purple, something <laughs> like that. Yeah. It's just a friendlier, more inviting color for you. John, you're on running Fez. Hey, Ron, Fed, aren't you guys seriously concerned that there might be a race riot at that at that uh, radio station between the Ecuadorians, the whites, and the blacks? We are in a constant turmoil to try to keep the balance here. Well, what happens when you leave? Who's going to yeah. keep the balance when you're gone? I look around, there's Ecuadorians, there's blacks, there's gays, there's stupid people. <laughs> Oh, man. And I don't mean stupid in a bad way. I'm not stupid. No, gay. Okay. What? what I'm saying is this. <laughs> what I'm trying to prove here is you guys been to Disney World? Yeah. All right. You ever been in a, It's a Small World? Yeah. Yes. That's what I want this radio show to look like. That'd be nice. You know? And it's just like I want to be sitting like I'm riding on that little boat, that boat that's somehow on a track, and I'm looking at all you guys and you're singing songs in your native languages. <laughs> Lots of puppets. Oh, um, man. That... What's your puppet thing? I know you're very... This is all up to you, Bronx. Johnny, you're office manager right now. Uh, and what I want you to start doing, just to be sure, to work out things with some of the racist white people, well, use the back steps. I hear it's you, only man. five floors <laughs> up. You'll, it's easy for you to climb. Uh, whatever you want, Papa Steve. No problems here. Right, then older you. white women aren't going to scream and shriek in the lobby. Uh, yeah. I am going to see you later, though, so... I don't want you to like, try not, to step up gonna, on her. I'm not going to hit her. I'm be like, yo, just what the fuck is your problem? That man? is not good for... You're the intern. She's probably working at one of these uh, companies here. Nah, man. I, 
Like she probably does work here, but she probably got like a shitty. Her shoes were shit, man. They was all scratched up. <laughs> Tell her that. That's probably from fucking running from fucking Spanish people and blacks and all that. Mad scared and shit. No, that's annoying, man. I uh, I just want to tell you, I have a problem with you going, what the fuck is your problem? <laughs> <laughs> to someone who works here. I may hang around after work just to see this fight. Bronx Johnny and <laughs> Kitty Carlisle going at it. I can't have a Mayan George Costanza <laughs> scaring the shit out of people. Oh, we have got to keep a lid on this, man. So would you rather me say pardon? Why the fuck did you slam the door on me like that? Just ignore it. No, Act like it never feelings, happened. Shit. Yeah. That, that, no, that's real hurtful, though. I like, know it is, but <laughs> I want you to feel like you're king of the service entrance. That's I true. want you just to use those stairs, <laughs> those fire stairs. And pretend it's like, oh, this is a special entrance just for me. Bruce right. Johnny, office manager. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's cool. And isn't it better climbing up these uh, cement steps than it is taking that elevator? I can pretend it's the corporate ladder. And I'm on my there way you up. go, yeah. bro. All the right. corporate ladder. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is your problem? <laughs> That's oh, not going to work. You smashed my pinky. Yeah. Did your pinky really get stuck? No, nah, it got caught by the door. It didn't get smashed, but the shit got a little cut. Now, you know what? I never even realized this before Fez brought it up. But maybe she's got the Fez thing where she likes to take the elevator by herself. Because it is a way more comfortable ride if you're not sharing with anyone. To me, that is one of the greatest joys you can have day to day. When you get an elevator by yourself Ooh. in the I, city. I got one by myself today coming up, and it really did feel like I was at a health spa. It was just so relaxing because I didn't have to make small talk or look at the numbers. And Fez gave uh, me this trick, and it, it's worked here. Whereas if you get in the elevator, say you, you're going on the ground floor up to the eighth floor, and you get in the elevator and press door close and eighth floor at the exact same time, you go all the way up without it stopping on any of the floors, so you can have it all to yourself. And that was uh, Mr. W taught me that trick. Have you ever done that? Yeah. How did Mr. W find out? Oh, uh, Mr. B. <laughs> was this when I wanted to bring it up, or was this a whole different segment? No, this is mm. we're talking elevators. Damn, now damn. we're talking about personal space and comfort. Uh, elevators. We're talking and... about what our own Bronx Johnny oh, went okay. through. His crash moment, <laughs> his big chill, when he found out the world didn't work the way he wanted it to. I'm just saying, like, Fez, would you ever, like, press the close button like that? Like, she was... Bah, bah, bah. To me, that would be more obvious. Yeah. Of, you know what? If I was nervous about someone getting on the elevator with me, to try to uh, run in the elevator and slam the door shut when I know he's coming. What I always try to do now, is since you brought that up, I know I like it more if I get on and no one's around. I try to turn my back on the door like I don't see anyone coming. <laughs> and then hopefully the doors will shut in time. I will do that. I will step to the very rear of the elevator. Right. So that even if someone's running, I can't possibly reach that door open button in time. Yeah. I can't make that leap. I have given the fake, oh, I'm trying to hit it, <laughs> but I don't, and I just let it go shut. I do the thing now where it's like when I get in the elevator, leaving my apartment to come downstairs, if I can make it from my floor to the lobby with it not stopping, yeah. that's going to be a good day. <laughs> But I never had, you know, the loco posse trying to hop on here. Mm. Nah, man, that, that shit wasn't cool. That's all I'm going to say on that. Just... I know, but you're carrying around a big beatbox. You're playing insane in the membrane. and <laughs> It's frightening to the straights. 